Librans, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's get straight to your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Librans, this is a little bonus reading. It's what your guides want you to know. I do apologize for the length of time it has taken me to do this reading for you, but unfortunately I was a little bit unwell for the last week and a half. I lost my voice completely, so I couldn't even do a reading for you all, even if I tried, and believe me, I tried, okay? Uh, but I took some time out for self-care, but also I've uh, gone to my folks for some extra TLC. Uh, I'm nearly back to best, so I do apologize if my voice does go in the reading again, uh, but I'll be back in my usual space next week. Let's get straight to it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know regarding uh, the messages you would like them to be aware of? Uh, what is your guidance? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Okay, so I'm just going to get all of your cards first before I transmute an outcome. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? Uh, but first of all, as soon as I've started, they're just showing me how... Um, you know, you see the beauty in life, or you try to see things from the beautiful side of life rather than the negative. You try to be more positive than negative, which is uh, a trait that not everybody embodies. Uh, so I feel like this is something your guys are very, very proud of, is what they're showing me. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay. Um, and finally, uh, they're actually showing me what a beautiful heart you have, uh, that you actually are someone who um, helps a lot of people or tries to give sort of like really good advice. You have great ideas. You're a good problem solver is what they're showing me. Also, you are honest to a T. You have a lot of um, integrity and you're someone who would go out of your way to help someone if they really needed your help, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. I can see that, especially with that um, moon card energy and the Page of Wands. If there's something confusing somebody or you feel like you don't know information, you're the sort of person who will look it up straight away. You like to know facts, figures. You don't tend to give advice or anything like that unless you know the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And you dig deep when it comes to looking for that, okay? Um, now... Oh, wow, you've got the star energy here as well. So um, they're showing me here that you're someone who follows your heart, okay? You follow your bliss, and you have a lot to offer when it comes to love, not just in love, but also in terms of your workspace and all your friendships. You're actually a really good friend to people is what they're showing me. Now, a lot of the time in life, you may feel like you're always learning. You've got two pages here, so this indicates, you know, um, you may always feel like you are uh, absorbing or learning lessons in life. You are the student of life. But as you mature, um, actually, you will find empowerment. So it depends on what stage you're at in your journey. But you're someone with an incredible mind. You're very, very intelligent. Very high IQ is what they're giving me right here. Very high IQ indeed. Um, and... You're someone who is very, very thoughtful. You're very thoughtful, you're very deep in your thoughts, but you're thoughtful for other people as much as yourself, so you're very selfless, okay? Now, the first card we got here is the one who is wild, untamed, wild, mysterious, okay? Now, this is an important message because this is about your inner self. This is how you feel. This is how, you know, you, you run on your passion. You're someone who's very, very passionate, um, but you need to keep that balance, especially with that Libra and energy. So you try to find the balance between going wild and taming your energy. So, um, 
I feel like nobody gets to control you, okay? No matter what the circumstances, you always find a way to make sure nobody controls you, okay? Uh, now, I do apologize. There's a little bit of banging going on next door, a little bit of DIY. They don't tend to tell me uh, when they're starting, but as soon as I'm starting a reading, of course, they're starting their work as well. Uh, I've waited all day and nothing happened. So and now, of course, I start the reading and here they are. Anyway, let's move on. Um, the one who is wild, okay? Now, you have a lot of power and you may feel like you've only just scratched the surface when it comes to your inner powerment. Um, actually, they're showing me that you're, um, you're inspirational and you're in, your inspiration actually is contagious. You're the sort of person who people feel like they can say whatever. They can be really candid with you. They're giving me the word candid. Uh, people can be really candid about you because you don't tend to judge. You like to see things from all angles. You like to be really open and honest. You'd rather hear the truth and not like the truth than be spun a lie is what they're showing me. So I feel like you would really uh, prefer that people were like um, just really blunt with the truth for you. Uh, also, I feel you may have a yearning to follow your heart from a very young age. You're the sort of person who, um, even if your, uh, your nearest and dearest try to convince you to go in a certain direction, you would always buck that trend and follow your heart. You're not a people pleaser. You're someone who's super independent and you live life on your own terms. There is actually something very mysterious about you that people want to get to know. It's almost like... Um, now, some of you may have Scorpio placements, doesn't have to be, but some of you may, but you've got this magnetism about you that people want to know what's your secret. People gravitate towards you um, effortlessly, actually. Um, they're showing me that people actually tend to be enamored by your energy because you you present this wild, free energy. Now, you may not even see this or be aware of it, but people feel comfortable in your company because you make them feel like they can do anything. They're actually showing me as well that you have a very strong, powerful skill of manifestation. Uh, you're very talented at what you do. You're very creative, actually, very, very creative indeed. And you may find that in your life, no matter what job you tend to gravitate towards, you will always find a creative way to do it. And even in your retirement age, uh, when you come to that stage, you will find a way to keep creatively um, sort of like connected to nature and the universe and um, to your skills. You're very skillful at whatever it is that you do, okay? Um, people really like working with you because you think outside the box. You're a bit of a maverick. Um, you have ideas that other people just don't have. And with this Page of Cups energy, I feel like you will even surprise yourself. You'll even over -ex see, yeah, over exceed your own expectations in life and be very, very successful, okay, is what they're showing me. Um, but you have so much love. You're such a loving, calm person. To spend time in your energy is just a beautiful thing. Of course, uh, you know, if anyone crosses you, then, you know, there is some Five of Swords energy right there. So I feel like you're the sort of person who would cut them out immediately and, like, not engage in their energy. They're just not worth your time. So you're not a pushover, that's for sure, my beautiful Librans. But you have such a beautiful, loving, giving heart. A lot of you are very... Uh, socially conscious is what they're showing me as well. You're a social warrior. You fight for what is right. Um, you're the sort of person who like will engage in signing petitions if they actually ever work anymore. Uh, but you always try to find a way to fight for what is right, whether that's um, fighting to help the homeless or um, you know giving a little bit extra money. You're very generous with your time and just a beautiful soul with your generosity. Now, Page of Cups also you're. You're a very deep thinker, especially when it comes to love. Very romantic, very, um, you know, I'm almost picking, I know this is a Pisces card, but I'm also picking up a little bit like Pisces energy, that romanticism about you. This beautiful romanticism that you have in your soul. And you're capable of great love. Now, with this magician card, they're just showing me how powerful you are 
in terms of thought forms, okay? So the Magician card is a card to remind you of confidence. You may be building your confidence and it may have taken you a long time to build that confidence and get to where you are. But you are always, you've always been confident enough to follow your heart. And that is something that people learn as they get older. But you always knew from a very young age what you want and always gravitated towards it. Now the magician, your guides are actually showing me how talented you are, whatever it is you've chosen as your mission in this lifetime, whatever you feel has been your calling, um, this is something that you are naturally good at. Even though you may study it and learn more and enhance your skills, you're actually naturally very, very talented and very good at what you've uh, sort of come to this lifetime to do. Focus is key. You're actually very, very focused, but sometimes you may want, uh, you may have a lot of responsibility in life and you may feel like, like cutting all ties and just being wild and free and going off and sort of like exploring what life has to offer because I do feel like there is a wanderer in your soul and you're someone who feels compelled to go on great journeys. Uh, but I feel your, your main focus is love. You've come to this lifetime to spread love and you may have felt like that all throughout um, your upbringing, okay? You have everything you need within you to be very, very successful, and you will accomplish great things. Uh, you're very hardworking, very determined, and actually very, very focused on wherever your heart is leading you. When you're in a relationship, it's like a laser focus. You're intensely uh, connected to that person. Same with career. If there's something that has your heart involved, you are intensely focused on it. Sometimes, I would not say in terms of like, obsession, but I would say uh, nothing tends to steal your focus when you've got a mission or when you feel uh, you've got to uh, knuckle down and think about something. Uh, now, we've also got the one who is present. Sometimes you may have struggled with trying to manifest uh, or meditate. You may find that you've got a very, very busy mind. You're a very deep thinker and you may find that it's very difficult to clear space in your mind and just find peace. You may have a million thoughts a second, but I feel like you're working really hard on that. You're curious about how people manage to uh, find that peace. Walking in nature they're giving me is very, very helpful to you as a sign, my beautiful Libra, to find that balance, to find that harmony. So whenever the life gets a bit too loud or your thoughts get a little bit overwhelming or life gets a little bit overwhelming, because let's face it, it's all a bit crazy right now, I feel walking in nature brings you back to that grounded energy. Same with traveling. I, I really feel like you have that wanderer's soul. Um, but I feel you, you've come to your, I feel like you come to accept yourself a little bit like later on in life. Um, and I feel like you're very powerfully aware of your passion, of your joy de vivre, of your and I feel recently it may have been lacking. You've got in the resistance position, you've got the page of wands and you've also got the moon card. So you may have felt a little bit confused recently as to a lack of energy or a lack of curiosity about life because that's not your na natural state. Normally you're a very curious person who's very excited about things, but I feel recently you may have felt a little bit like disconnected. They're giving me a wonderful word right now, discombobulated. I love that. I'm scrying in the water at the same time as doing your reading. Um, so discombobulated is what they're showing me. So sometimes you may feel like off center um, or you've been feeling a little bit like unmotivated or bored even, just bored with routine day to day and you're yearning for some sort of adventure. Some of you may be yearning to go on a vacation or you're currently curious about de holiday destinations and things like that, the great getaway. Some of you may actually be curious about a new project, something that's going to really inspire you because actually you're very inspirational and when someone who is a maverick has lost their inspiration, that tends to mean you know a, a lot of confusion, a little bit of test of faith. So I feel like you're going to regain that energy. This is only a temporary phase, okay? Especially if you've been over feeling overwhelmed recently, especially with that new moon energy in uh, Cancer. Uh, we've all been feeling that, that's for sure. And of course, this intense heat. You probably noticed that literally it's like, oh, it's horrible. To uh, scry and... Um, channel at the same time, it's it's quite a messy business, especially in this heat, let's put it that way, for me anyway. Um, but I feel like you um, 
are very unique. You're actually very, very bold, your guides are showing me. You're very, um, you think outside the box and you will venture forward in life. You actually travel quite a, a few places and I feel like you will relocate later on in life uh, to a destination or a place that you feel like is home. But I feel like um, you are, you will do something bold, some sort of bold change in your life, in your living circumstances. It, and it will lead you to be uh, very empowered and um, very enlightened. I feel like there's an, a huge awakening for you. Uh, I feel like you'll probably gravitate more towards nature or to, they're actually showing me the sea right now with the moon. So a lot of you will gravitate towards water. Um, but I feel like it's a pleasing landscape to the eye, okay? You'll move out of the great smoke, as it were, that, that's later on. I mean, that's a lot of people, of course, so that's a, a bit of an obvious thing to say. Uh, we got the moon card in this position. So it may indicate that you've been feeling a little bit frustrated recently. You may have felt a little bit disconnected from your intuition. You're actually very, very astute and, intu and intuitive. You've actually got great instincts. Um, always, uh, your guides are giving me always pay attention to hunches. Okay, if you feel like you need to make a bold move, investigate it first, of course, but then take that leap of faith because your hunches always pay off. They will never lead you astray. You may have had this fight between head over heart or independence uh, versus settling down. Uh, that may be something that you have wrestled with in your lifetime uh, because there is a, I just get this nomadic kind of soul within you. Even if you are loving being surrounded by your family and friends and you found a sanctuary or a base that you like living in, there's always this sort of like otherness that you want to explore in life. And I feel like you will. Um, you are strongly affected by moon cycles. They want you to be aware strongly affected by moon cycles these are the times when getting into nature and grounding yourself are really really helpful okay uh, they're just showing me um, you know the, the skills that you have uh, some of you may actually uh, be a bit more focused on spirituality as a uh, career because you are actually very very gifted okay um, even if you are working in an office for example you'll find uh, a very um, harmonious way of working. People actually really enjoy your company. Now, as an outcome energy, we've got the one who flies, dare, do, reach. So if there's something here recently that you've been focusing on, whether it's a major project, a new project, or a new way of doing something, perhaps it's even traveling, I feel like you're being bold. Whatever it is that you felt a little bit frustrated that you couldn't move or you couldn't do for a while, or you've lost that motivation or drive to do something, or even the energy recently, you're going to get that back in the next four to five weeks. You're going to do something really, really bold. Uh, they're actually showing me a grasshopper in the water, which is telling me that um, there's some sort of movement and it may be sudden, okay? Uh, it's also a symbol, a symbol for you to look out for. You may actually, um, you know, come back to your car, for example, and there may be a, a grasshopper on your car, or you may be just sitting there having a coffee, and a grasshopper, a grasshopper just pops on by. Uh, it's a signifier for you, so watch out for that. Okay, uh, but you're capable of great uh, success in life. Um, you know, success looks differently for everyone. Of course, sometimes success for people is a lot of money or status. Sometimes success is to be peaceful and have a loving uh, relationship and life. Uh, most of us, it should be that we're healthy and happy. That's all that truly matters, you know. Uh, I, they're just giving me a, a sentence uh, which, uh, you know, actually... I feel it's my grandmother energy, so that's wonderful. Uh, I'll uh, connect a little bit more to that later. Um, but there's a, a sentence that just came through, there'll be money when we're gone. Okay, so I feel like it's about living in the moment, living in the now. Of course, it's important to have money. We all need to pay bills and we need to eat and we need to be stable, of course, and look after our families. But it's not something that is the be all and end all of our human experience on this earthly plane. And I feel like this is something that you already came to this lifetime knowing. OK, uh, it doesn't mean you're not going to be capable of achieving great wealth. We have the star here. The star energy, the world card, and the emperor. So you're very, very successful in life. Um, I feel like you're going to find a lot of peace. And we've got here the one who instigates leadership, provocation, power. Especially with that emperor energy. Uh, you're someone who may gravitate towards setting up your own business. You've got a lot of power. Uh, you're a natural born leader. And I feel like if there's an idea that you've got, you lead from the heart and you've also got good business sense. You've got really great strategy in your mind. As I said, you've got a beautiful mind, very high IQ. Also, um, you have the, 
I mean, I, I call it a gift. You have the gift of honesty. You know, everybody, well, I'd say the majority of humans are honest, kind, loving people. There's only a select few in this earthly plane uh, that tends to not follow uh, that sort of integrity. But I feel you are very, very flexible and there is, I feel this energy of you um, changing. I, I just feel like you, you have one really great change in life. I mean, like you're always changing, but I feel like it's one great change in life um, that it's almost like it rejuvenates your soul. So whether it is moving to the country or to buy water or it, it's just, it's a great adventure, okay? Because I feel like you embrace the great adventure of life. And there's something really good coming towards you by autumn, by the fall, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you will have some really great news, some really exciting like news that just, it just feels like everything is slotting into place for you. Uh, you know, autumn is a really powerful time for you in particular, my beautiful Librans. Um, now, the King of Swords, you're very observant. Your guides are showing me how observant. Not much gets past you. You can instantly tell if someone's telling you a lie or not. And also, you're willing to, you stand for what is right. I, I keep getting this energy of you being a social warrior, a social justice warrior. Um, now, whatever you turn your hand to, you're really good at it. Uh, that's coming up for a lot of people, um, but they're actually showing me that uh, you're really good with creative stuff as well as like doing like data entry and um, facts and figures and things like that. You actually use, <laughs> this is really interesting the way they're putting it. It's almost like you're really good at switching off one part of your brain and being super creative and then switching off the other part of your brain and getting really clear and concise and like logical about stuff. So I do feel like you've actually found a balance in your, um, in your, headspace um, in order to be really good at everything, okay? Um, King of Swords, also someone who thinks before they act. You're someone who's responsible. You don't tend to be very, very sort of flippant and, you know, you're, you actually are spontaneous, um, but sometimes you sort of, um, you subdue that spontaneous part of yourself just to make doubly sure that you are doing something right. Okay, you make sure, because I feel like you're a great strategist. You've always got a plan. You make sure you've got the plan before you enact the plan and you always walk your talk. You're not someone who says you're going to do something and then just never does it. You're the sort of person who absolutely does what you say you're going to do. You don't like to let anyone down is what they're showing me as well. Uh, we got the Seven of Swords. So this is like, um, you know, not very nice energy, of course. Um, I, I get two energies from this. One is like you play your cards close to your chest. Uh, you're quite a, a, a private person. But I'm also getting the Seven of Swords in between the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords, which means if someone is telling you a lie, you will always find it out. You're the sort of person who lives by the truth. The truth will always out. Now, this may be a sentence that you always say. The truth will always out. That's something that's coming out heavily in the water, okay? Uh, so you're the sort of person who will dig for the truth. Even if something is hidden, you will always find it because that's in your nature. I'm going to pull a quick card on that Seven of Swords, see what we got coming through there. Can you please guide this, my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know about this Seven of Swords? Four Swords in the Reverse. Anybody who tells you an untruth, you, it's almost like you can't let them... Well, especially when it comes to love, you may have been, you may have um, experienced hardship or a difficult journey in love. Um, you don't trust easily when it comes to love. You want to, you always want to believe in the best of uh, love and people. But I feel like there's been an experience that's caused you a test of faith or real confusion. And it's made you feel a little bit untrusting. Um, so, I mean, of course, that's because you've experienced something that's made you feel like that. The Justice card in the reverse, yeah. Um, you always give your honesty and your love and your care and your devotion. And it's almost like you wish people would give exactly the same amount of energy, time, and honesty and integrity as you do. But unfortunately, that's not the way life is or goes. And it may make you feel a little bit down. But I feel you've learned not to let the people who 
are dishonest or disloyal, you've learned not to let them harden your heart. That is one of the most important lessons that you're meant to learn in this lifetime, not to let other people's actions harden your heart or make you change the way that you offer love or care or devotion, okay? Um, how you deal with people who betray you or um, do not tell you the full truth, you actually step away from them. You, you cut them with silence. And that is actually, um, I mean, it's, it's the most mature way to do it. It's actually the most painful way for that person as well because they never get a chance to sort of like resolve it. It sits on their shoulders, on their consciousness, on, on, their, on their conscience, sorry. Uh, but that's not your problem, my beautiful Librans. You're leading with integrity. Um, now, they're also showing me here that when it comes to love, you may find it difficult to open up because of trust issues. Um, you may feel it takes you a while to speak your truth or speak how you feel about a person. Um, especially right at the beginning of a relationship, it's almost like you feel like running away. Not because you don't want to get into a relationship, but it's almost like you feel tongue-tied or you have trust issues from the past and it's made you feel very, very different. Uh, yeah, it's made you feel very uncomfortable trying to push past those boundaries that have been built as a protective measure around your heart. Um, you are going to have a breakthrough. There is a breakthrough available for you in this lifetime. You will open up and you will find love if you haven't already. Um, you're really good at words. You're a wordsmith. You're actually very, very good at communicating. Um, and your words have power. A lot of you will gravitate towards careers where you actually either counsel people or your words have impact in other people's lives. You give really good advice, um, but you're capable of great transformation and success. Um, this is a card of um, you know things happening really quickly for you later on in life. Ace of Swords, you know, I feel not everyone gets to spend time in your energy because you are quite discerning about the company that you keep. But the Ace of Swords is, I just feel like truth is everything to you. Truth is so important. Um, the truth will out. It keeps coming out. The truth will out, okay? Now, we've got the Emperor energy, so very, very successful. Um, also, uh, the Emperor card is a card of the great strategist, someone who has a plan, someone who is capable of running their own business or setting up as an entrepreneur. Um, even if you're retired, this is about you sort of like still planning, you know, um, what to do day to day, uh, schedules, um, you know, doing things like hobbies. Um, I mean, they're showing me that as you get older, of course, we all get wiser. That's an obvious thing to say. But I feel like you become a little bit like, um, oh, how can I put that? It's like it takes a lot to impress you. Okay, um, because you're not the sort of person to allow anyone to blow smoke up your you-know-what, and you would never do that to anybody anyway either. If someone asked you for their honest, your honest opinion about something and you didn't like it, you would say, honestly, you know what, I don't like it. I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, but I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? The Emperor card energy is success. So I feel like you are someone who is destined to be very successful. Uh, some of you may even go into public facing roles or roles where you will stand out from the crowd. Uh, I feel like a lot of people actually really appreciate you being in their life. You are a light at the end of the tunnel in their life. Uh, you give really good advice. You're very responsible as well. Um, now with the world card, I feel like there is one great move that you will do, uh, whether it's a relocation, um, and it's going to bring you a lot of peace, a lot of serenity, a lot of joy. Wherever you are, uh, seeing the stars, a blanket of stars is important for you, is what they're showing me. Uh, so whether it's getting out in nature um, or you moving somewhere where you can see a blanket of stars without light pollution and things like that, that's something that perhaps you've been wanting to do or something that you are really interested in. Uh, perhaps you're interested in astronomy or you just look, like looking at the stars, it brings you peace, comfort. The world card is a card of um, completing a cycle, finding that balance, being successful. Also, it's about being in the right place at the right time. There's some really good news, as I said, coming in here for you. It's coming in before the fall, but I, I feel like it's in the next four to five weeks. Something that you've been thinking about um, is coming true for you. It's like a wish. Uh, it's going to be very, very successful. This is a card also of success. I mean, these three cards with the Ace of Swords, 
basically means success. So whatever it is you've been trying to activate, you're going to be very, very successful at it. Um, remember, confidence is key. You're going to be in the right place at the right time. Some of you, if you're wanting to be like famous or in positions where you are um, well known within the community, you're actually going to stand out from the crowd and your words have power. You are an influencer. So uh, with great influence comes great responsibility. And I feel like you do have responsibility on your shoulders and sometimes you may overthink things because those responsibilities lay heavy upon you and you may think about running away sometimes but then all of a sudden an idea is sent to you your guides are with you they're whispering ideas into you that's why it's so important for you to take moments of silence to meditate or quiet in your mind because then your heart can shout louder than society's noise that it is built right now you know um, we are bombarded with news and with uh, information and with noise pollution and things like that sometimes it's hard to hear the heart so I feel like you're trying really hard to get back to your center and back to raising your vibrations and listening to your heart. Um, it will happen for you. This is a moment of clarity, something you've been wishing for or wrestling with or trying to work out. You find a solution. Also, I keep getting that there's a wish coming true for you, something that you've been wanting for a while or thinking about for a while. I feel like some of you have been... It's either a new project or you're uh, doing something new because pages are very much like... There's news coming, pages tend to bring news, but also I feel like there's either a new project or a new way of doing something. Uh, whether you're working or retired, it can be that you are embarking on a new hobby or a new skill set or you're joining a new group. I feel like you find your, your soul tribe and actually you will be the very center, the linchpin of it. Um, they keep showing me that your voice is very important. Uh, some of you, as you get older you'll have the confidence to write i see you being a writer someone whose words matter um, you have great skills in that area and i feel like a lot of you will be well known for what you do okay uh, i'm just gonna get some final cards before we close the reading if you're looking for love there's definitely a partnership coming on in here for you i feel like um well, actually you've got two options coming in for love if you are looking for love uh, one person tends to make you feel confused this is someone that you've been with before uh, I feel like the trust is already broken in this relationship especially since we've got the seven of swords there for the trust issues and we've also got the card of suspicion remember once suspicion enters the mix in any situation in life that situation is tainted forever it is very very difficult uh, to get past um, the element of suspicion, just so you're aware. Thank you so much. Uh, but there is a new love, another new love coming on in here for you. And this is someone who's honest, open, uh, someone who's on the same frequency as you, someone that I feel is from a different part of the world than you. You may meet this person traveling, okay? Um, also, your guys want you to be aware how attractive you are. You don't give yourself enough credit for how attractive you are. Um, we've got the partnership card. So definitely, if you're looking for a partnership, uh, whether it's in business, career, or even if it's, um, you know, love or friendships, uh, I feel like Soul Tribe members are heading your way. I said this already before this card popped up. It says someone will have an incredible impact on your success. Power Couple Business Partnership Alliance. So um, there could be someone who gives you with that emperor energy, someone who gives some really good advice to you before the fall. And there is some... Um, exciting development in some area of your life that you've been hoping for um it actually it helps you with a major breakthrough okay so this could be like a savior type person it could be a friend it could be a boss it could be someone uh, even if you go for advice for example you go to like a bank manager or uh, you go to a financial advisor or you go to a career advisor or just um to like a spiritual retreat because I feel some of you are going on a spiritual retreat or planning one uh, you may meet someone there who gives really good advice and becomes a lifelong friend and helps you in a certain area okay we've got suspicion now this may be something that you've dealt with for a very long time uh, maybe because you have such a sense of what is right that um, it is very, very difficult for you to trust. And you may have experienced something in childhood, um, whether it was watching a parent cheat or a guardian uh, leave the home space and or someone lying to you um, or, or even some sort of um, 
cheating later on in a relationship. There's something here where you may have witnessed something and it's marked you. Uh, it says here, the moment there is suspicion, everything becomes tainted. Distrustful, cautious, disbelief. This is something that you will break through, okay? It is not something that will hold you back in life, but it is something that needs to be worked on, looked at, and processed if you found that sometimes, uh, especially trust issues in relationships, raise their ugly heads. Now, I'm a Scorpio, okay? And because I've had some very damaging experiences when I was younger, uh, it tended to um, mark and influence the way I operated in love relationships as I got older without me even being aware of it. But as I matured, I started to notice a pattern within me, um, regardless of the way treated, uh, I got treated by other people, I notice a pattern within me. Once you notice the pattern, then you become aware and you can make you can make some changes within yourself that you are happy with for you. But if it's always other people that you're gravitating towards, perhaps there's something within you that you um, still need healing that makes you gravitate towards those sort of people or those situations, okay? Uh, just something to think about. We got birds. It's time to expand your wings. No one can bring you down. So you're definitely capable of elevating and being very, very successful. It says your freedom awaits, soaring high, thriving. I just get this energy, as I said, the wanderer. And some of you booking travel or a spiritual retreat or some of you relocating, there's a big move. And I feel like you're actually going to spread your wings, fly and elevate, whether that's in success, uh, success in business, career, love. I feel like now's your time. Uh, we've also got beauty, very important. Remember that. It's number 11, which is a justice card number, which is your card, my beautiful Librans. True beauty lies under the surface. To find it, you must travel within. Empress, shine your light, be yourself. Now, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. Uh, something that you're meant to learn how to do, especially as you mature, is shine your light. Don't let anyone ever dull your shine. You're born to stand out, not in an egotistical way, but in all your glory as a wonderful human being. Well, you're a wonderful sort of um, energy having a human experience. Shine that beautiful light of yours, my wonderful Librans. Uh, we've also got social circle, okay? And it says... Whether it's new friends or old ones, they'll bring new energy into your soul. Friends, social ties, social activity, crowd. If you've been feeling recently that you've been feeling a little bit bored or stuck in a rut or routine and you've not been enjoying yourself or your energy has been very low vibe, you're going to meet new people. Whether it's you taking on a new project or you're embarking on a new hobby or you're traveling, uh, you're going to meet new energy. There's one person in particular who's going to remain a friend for life. Okay, and I feel it brings more energy to your soul. There's just a lot more joy and laughter to come. Uh, we've also got this card, which is very, very important. You already possess everything necessary to become great. That's exactly what the magician card tells you. You already possess, it, possess everything you need to become great. This is your protagonist energy. You got the, um, you got the um, magician card. I hope I said magician and not empress card. Uh, you got magician card as your protagonist energy, which means you're very, very powerful. And to remember your, your strengths lie within, you have everything you need, okay? I'm just gonna go and get a final card before we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Uh, they want me to give one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, okay. We have Coyote, Revealer of Truth. Oh my gosh, Libra, did we not pick up on that uh, in the reading? Revealer of Truth, that is who you are. You're the sort of person who um, always goes deep within and finds the truth. Now, my guides just told me, um, <laughs> it's so funny, I don't know if you noticed I looked down. My guides, this is literally what my guides just said. Like yourself, someone is wearing their clothes inside out. And I was like, what? And they're right, I'm actually wearing my top inside out. Oh, I'm such a frazzle today, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, there's, so, there's, there's someone out there who is also wearing their, their top, part of their clothing inside out. They're telling me it's very, very lucky. Wow, okay, they're saying it, it brings good luck. So if that's you, um, there's gonna be some really good luck that comes your way. But I see a wish coming true for you anyway. Um, something turns out in your favor that you feel 
is impossible, but actually you make it possible. Okay. So it says here, don't think, don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Okay. You're very, very clever, my beautiful Libans. Um, and as I said, with great responsibility, um, sometimes you can feel a little bit bogged down or you may feel like you have all these responsibilities and you don't tend to be able to enjoy yourself as much as others because you can see the truth and other people tend to live in ignorance. You know, they think ignorance is bliss. So we've also got Dragon Supernatural. And it says here, you are the ancient wise sage. You can shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Now, in this outcome energy, you've got rise energy. You are rising with dignity and integrity. And of course, mastery is your destiny. That is who you are. This is your destiny. To be master of your craft, master of what you do, master of friendships. You're really good at everything you turn your hand to. So your guides want you to be aware of that and honor your beautiful self. Celebrate yourself from time to time because I feel like you're always on to the next project, the next. You don't tend to celebrate your wins. Now I'm just going to get a few trinkets before we close. Okay, so we've got the butterfly which is all about transformation. Um, it's about spreading your wings and becoming. So they actually want me to put this on the Ace of Swords. Your voice is so important. Your words are key. Um, you are someone who can initiate change. You're someone who influences a lot of people in your life. Um, we've also got the key with the three-legged symbol there and a tulip as the little nubbin. Uh, so this is about change, turning over a new leaf, uh, moving forward into a new chapter, okay? Uh, they actually want me to put this on the Ace of Swords as well with the key. So there is a new chapter here for you that um, brings you a lot of peace. We've also got a heart, and it says made with love. They're just showing me how beautiful your heart is. Be mindful of overgiving your love, my beautiful Librans, especially to people who do not deserve your time and your energy. Uh, you tend to give people the, the benefit of the doubt until such time as they break your trust, but uh, you tend to be an overgiver. So make sure you have time for you um, because you'll just burn yourself out. And they want me to put this on the star energy, okay? Something that you're, you've been following your heart. There's a wish here that is deep down rooted in your heart that you've wanted for some time. It's coming true for you. Uh, don't doubt the process. It's going to show up in divine timing. Um, as I said, um, the fall is going to be very, very important for you. I'm going to leave it there, my beautiful Liebens. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. Again, I apologize for the neighbor doing all of the DIY. It gets a little bit noisy here, so I've had to try and pick and choose my time. And uh, yeah, luckily my voice uh, stayed present as well. Uh, thank you so much, my beautiful Liebens. Love and light.